Folks, this is November 8 Whiskey Hotel. It's a 2004 Cessna Skyline 182T G1000 equipped. It has a beautiful glass cockpit. I'll show you in a moment. This aircraft was formerly a Van Buren aircraft. In, uh, by the prior owner, uh, there was a minor tail, uh, prop strike in 2011 where on a crosswind landing uh, got off into the grass the ta the nose gear was replaced the crank ca uh, crankcase gear was pulled off and inspected and had a particle x-ray examination came back negative I actually, uh, it also had a uh, some minor empennage damage, about an inch crumpling. They've cleaned that up very nicely. There's no way you can actually even tell anything happened to her. Um, I actually flew the aircraft for 30 hours prior to purchasing it, and it flew to specification, had no vibration, and uh, since that time I've flown it. 400 hours since I purchased it last year. It's a beautiful aircraft. I had uh, recently in April a treatment applied to the aircraft that brings out the luster of the paint. As you can see it's just a beautiful aircraft. Every place I go, I get a lot of compliments on it. I uh, did replace the lights with LEDs, which are very bright, great for traffic avoidance. And as you can see, the skin is just in perfect shape, like new condition. has a very roomy aft baggage compartment. As you can see. And you would be surprised at what can fit back there. This plane can be filled up and packed with gear and you can be off to your favorite fishing or hunting spot in no time. Taking it uh, duck hunting, had my father-in-law's hunting dog, went up to Arkansas from Houston, up to Stuttgart, Arkansas, had a great, great trip. Also flown the aircraft down to the mountains of Mexico, Querétaro, Mexico, which is in the state of Guanajuato, up in the mountains. The field elevation is a little over 6,000 feet but you're flying through some mountains where the peaks are in excess of 11,000, 12,000 feet. So uh, we had the terrain awareness uh, information in the database, and we were able to see those peaks and maintain excellent situational awareness. But like I said, you can see the skin of the aircraft is just gorgeous. Take a quick look at this right wing section. Again, very nice condition. I've also flown this uh, to Florida from Houston. Went down to Fort Lauderdale, stopped in Pensacola on the way, refueled, had lunch with my brother-in-law, and then on the way back, I actually flew direct Fort Lauderdale to Houston Hooks Airport, Delta Whiskey Hotel. And that was uh, right at the stated range of the aircraft, a little over 900 nautical miles, uh, about six and a half hours of flight time. And she made it with about 45-minute fuel reserve 
I'll start up these systems. We can take a look at those. You can see I have the sheepskin custom covered seats, which are great for not only the winter, but also the summer. Keep your legs from sticking. Um, leather seats in the back. Those seats do recline and you can fit pictures, very large pictures and paintings and various other types of furniture. Again, you'd be amazed at what can fit in this skyline. Uh, they call it the truck of the sky and I, know, I now know why. So the PFD's coming up, going through its tests. Uh, I'm, I currently have the latest software installed, uh, system 563.26. I believe that's the latest, if not very close to. It's got a lot of the features that my Bonanza that I just acquired uh, does not have, so I'm hoping to update that software so I can maintain some of the nice features that I've come to enjoy on this one. Great flight planning. Did receive my instrument. Got my instrument rating in this aircraft, which was just great. Helps you fly the approaches. I have the Jefferson charts loaded, and it's great to be able to have that situational awareness of where your aircraft is at the time. You just hit approach here and say we want to take a look at the RNAV 1.6. I'll hit the chart here and there you go. You've got the Jepson chart loaded. You can look at just the plan view and your aircraft will show up as it's flying that approach. There's your profile view of the chart and then your minimums. So just a super aircraft to, to do your instrument rating in. Flies the specification and, uh, and uh, this is the Bendix King KAP-140 autopilot. This autopilot will fly an ILS approach can capture the glide slope and fly the plane right onto the runway. I've done that uh, several times, although I didn't really need to. Uh, instrument conditions weren't quite that low, but uh, you know, within about 50 feet, and hit the autopilot off. But it would have uh, it would have put me right on the landing strip. Great aircraft. I just recently, uh, as I mentioned earlier, purchased a Bonanza G36. So my wife said that uh, we're not can't have an air Air Force. So I got to keep one of them. So. Um, love to be able to answer any of your questions if you do have any on this aircraft. November 8, Whiskey Hotel.